why self-improvement is the cheat code to living a better life. Why self-improvement is the cheat code to life. That is what we're gonna talk about today, but first, please allow me to inhale the validation that comes from your side of the computer screen. Send me that validation by subscribing to the YouTube channel. Hit the little notification bell. Hit the notification bell so that you can get brand new videos the second they come out. All other platforms, please like my video. Love me. Just say that you love me, okay. Why self-improvement is the cheat code to life. I'm gonna start with a quote from my personal favorite self-help guru, the person that helped me quite a bit when I was on my own personal development journey. And he said, Jim Rohn is his name, by the way. He said, if you work at a job, you can make a living. But if you work on yourself, you can make a fortune. If you work at your job, you can make a living. But if you work on yourself, you can make a fortune. Now, at first, it just kind of sounds like a cliche self-help quote you've heard a million times before. But when you really think about it, you understand that really focusing on self-improvement, it's like a cheat code. It's like you have the answers to the test of how to live a better life. And it just instantly sets you apart from basically everyone you're around. How many people actively, actively, actively focus on self-improvement? And I mean above and beyond. Well, first of all, the percentage of people who even take the opportunity to even ingest self-help content or self-improvement alone is already a small percentage of the population. Then take the people who actually act on that information and the number is even smaller. You know, I'm just gonna throw a number out there and say probably less than 1% of people in the entire population really, really focus on self-improvement. And that's why, it's why we have the cheat code to life. If you just take a little bit of time not just focusing on what you do for work, but actually developing your own level of motivation, developing your own ability to think on your feet, developing your own ability to reshape the way that you see, re see reality, the ability to reframe the situations that happen in your life. Self-improvement, it just opens your eyes up. And really when you start to get into self-improvement, it's one of the first times that you can see outside of the blinders that traditional society puts you in, right? So traditional society has led people to believe that they have no agency, that their only hope in life is to follow this narrative and this script. And when you get into the self-improvement world, you quickly find out that that's not the case. When you really work on yourself, you create the ability to bet on yourself. See, most people, they have to rely on these institutions and their employer and all this other stuff because they're not developed enough to be able to, A, have the mental capacity to do something on their own, B, be able to deal with all the obstacles that come in their way, and C, just to have the idea or the ability to train and seize opportunities. And that's one of the things that was major for me, was just the ability to see the seeds of an opportunity and just go for it. So I've told the story where, you know, I was focusing on self-improvement, then I got an opportunity to write. But as I was learning self-improvement and practicing my writing, I would look at the teeniest, tiniest things like, oh, so-and-so is published on that website. Let me, let me apply to that website, see if I can get in there. Oh, so-and-so is published on this even bigger website. Let me reverse engineer what they've done. And basically, the more I started to do it, I just looked at these people who were doing all these amazing things and I just realized that they were, they were normal human beings who just like dared to try to do some of these things. And that's what self-improvement teaches you. It's like people who are 
successful in all areas of life. Yeah, there's a different level of talent and intelligence, but they're people. They're not gods. They're not superhuman, but they seem like it because they have the cheat code. See, when you don't have the cheat code and you know you don't understand the true levels of upward mobility that are available to you in society, of course, you're going to look at successful people and cast it all 100% as luck. Of course, you were going to look at opportunities that are outside your kind of Overton window and pretend like they're not something that you can achieve. Of course, you're playing the game, but you don't have the codes. You don't have the secrets. You don't have the self-improvement skills to understand that there's so much more opportunity. Like, I've gotten to the point in my life now where... I realize that with technology, with a computer, with a smartphone, with a camera, the opportunities are infinite, like insane levels of opportunity. Now, some of these things are hard to pull off, but I've seen so I've seen too I've seen too many examples from too many disparate types of people with too many disparate levels of talent and intelligence and know-how and networks. I've seen people succeed in too many ways for me to even believe that it's not possible for you. Like you would have to come from some insanely bad, terrible, horrible, awful background and you'd have to be like completely dumb as a box of rocks for me not to believe that you could change your life and experience an amazing career level of emotional and happiness and contentment and physical and all these things, you'd have to be really a low, low quality individual for me to believe that you aren't capable of achieving success in these areas to some degree. But you gotta, you gotta unearth the cheat codes. And the cheat codes they're all hidden in plain sight. Books. People don't read books. People do not read books. Everyone's always talking about what the latest book they read. People are all these top 10 books. People do not read books. They don't. For the most part. The vast majority of people do not read on a consistent basis. If you are one of the people who do read on a consistent basis... This level of kind of multidisciplinary knowledge that you'll get, it's a cheat code. You could look at situations like, okay, I got this situation in front of me. Let me pull, let me pull from the marketing bucket. Let me pull that marketing piece of my brain from all those marketing books I read. Let me pull the psychology and persuasion portion. Let me pull the evolutionary psychology section. Let me pull the psychology section. Let me pull the habits and productivity section here. Let me pull the relationships knowledge over here. And you just have all these different things to where you're like, you ever seen Keanu Reeves in the Matrix where he just gets downloads all this information and now he knows how to do kung fu and all these martial arts. That's what learning is. You're just downloading all these different blueprints and maps and mental models that you're able to thrive in situations. And the more you practice it, you don't even have to consciously know what you're doing. You just have so much knowledge just floating around in your mind because you've been focused on working on yourself you just know how to deal with so many different situations and the ability to be adaptable is pretty much the number one cheat code, right? You have to be adaptable to put together a side project and try to turn it into a business. You have to be adaptable to switch your career and continue to switch careers and reinvent yourself. You have to be adaptable to learn how to network, to learn how to build communities and tribes and persuade people and get people to listen to you. You have to be adaptable to do all of those things. And the more different kind of mental models you download into your brain, the more variables you have to create an adaptability equation that works in your favor. It's like any time you have a set number of things, the larger the initial group of things you know, the combinations of what can come from that just grow exponentially. So you want to be able to just work on yourself and 
it seems so simple, the idea of working on yourself. And it seems so trite and cliche to say work on yourself and you can make a fortune. But it's so true, it's ridiculous. I remember also five years ago, I was watching a video from Jim Rohn. It might have been the same video. And he said, five years from now, you will arrive. The question is where? And he basically was like, all right, give me five years of your life. Focus on self-improvement. You have no idea where it's going to lead. But I promise you it's going to be somewhere good. Just trust me. Spend five years doing real personal development work, which means that you read, watch, listen to different sources of knowledge, but then you you go and implement what they say. So, you know, a lot of you people think that you're into self-development when really you're just self-help junkies and you don't actually take any tangible steps in your life. So So there's that part. You have to do that. But he basically said, okay, five years. Do this for five years. See what happens. I'm on four and a half. Gonna be five years this February. In the span of five years, I will have published three books, have my words read by millions of people at this point. The YouTube channel will be thriving at quite a pace at this point. Quit my full-time job, built a side business that makes me a good income that I am very happy with and financial flexibility and freedom and the ability to do what I do what I want basically every day. And it started with me just reading a couple books, watching a couple videos, writing about the things I was learning, implementing them, taking notes along the way, and just continuing. And now it's like endless possibilities. Now I realize how 99% of the barriers that I have in my life are almost completely imaginary. And going back to my Neo reference, you know, there's a point in the movie in The Matrix where Neo understands that he is in the Matrix and that it's not real. So he meets this kid when he is in the waiting lobby, uh, waiting to speak to the Oracle. He meets this kid and this kid is making a spoon bend with his mind. And Neo looks at him and he's like, bro, how are you making that spoon bend in half? And the kid looks at him and he's like, Neo, There's no spoon. The spoon isn't actually here. You can play with reality. And it's, you know, it's such a great metaphor for life. Self-improvement is a lot like that. Self-improvement will teach you that for the most part, really outside of the laws of physics, reality and what you can do with it is very, very much subject to interpretation. And self-improvement is the cheat code to life because it heightens and enhances your level of understanding of the degree to which reality is totally subject to interpretation. Whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. Like, those kind of little cliches, surface level, don't mean a lot. But when you really deeply dive into them whether you think you can or you can't you are right it makes a profound world of difference and i want to make sure that i'm providing a brand of self-improvement that tells you the truth i'm not going to tell you that any of this stuff is going to be easy i'm not even going to guarantee that it's going to work and you're going to get exactly the same results as i get but I do have some very good educated guesses to share with you. And if you were to implement and continue to watch my videos and do the things that I said, I would be willing to personally bet on your future almost regardless of who you are because I know the power of self-improvement. Of course, you have to implement it. So keep watching the videos. It's okay to go through that period where you're just mostly consuming and not doing much yet. You know, I've made other videos that talk about the fact that you have to bathe and brainwash yourself with self-improvement up until the point where you get that gumption to do something about it. And sometimes it doesn't come for some people, 
but it does come for a lot of people and in that moment can come for you. So when that moment comes, you wanna hit everything full steam, seize as many opportunities as you can, and then the more you level up, you just keep getting more cheat codes. Success begets success. Once you get the ball rolling, it's actually easier. So get that ball rolling today. Okay, U2.0. That is the book. If you haven't gotten it already, please go and get that on Amazon and other retailers. Just put it in the Google search. If you're on YouTube, please like the video, make a comment, engage with me, love me, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, all other platforms. Please share my videos with your friends. Okay, I will see you on the next one.